Hey guys, what's up? I have news. So, uh, I could have titled this video Massive Chess News or uh, Cheating Scandal Update or something like that, but I hate clickbait as much as the rest of us. Um, there's at least 10 things that I despise about clickbait. Number six will shock you. Anyway, it's not massive news. Um, or how about uh, chess first or something like this. Anyway, uh, no, my um, I've broken 1550 in, in Blitz, that's all. And in fact, I uh, my Blitz score is now in front of my Rapid score. Only the second time ever that this has happened. I did actually... Um, have to knock it up in Facebook to, uh, not Facebook, Photoshop to figure it out. There you go. So that's, uh, so the Blitz is, is like the blue one uh, going all the way back in time. Because um, the thing is, I started out playing 10 minute, which in the olden days, back when all this was just fields, uh, uh, Blitz, uh, 10 minutes was Blitz. So I, I played a lot of Blitz there and actually, you know, I hit a decent score in early 2019. Um, and then kind of potted about and never back over hitting 1500 for the first time ever um, in the last year or the last six months but then my rapid remember this this massive dip here and then I bounced straight back um, after, that was that was after doing a, a, a three-day fast drop state back but anyway so now rapid is you know rapid's okay but it's okay anyway so that's it I thought we would start today's little chat with a position. Um, this is going into my collection, obviously, my my, uh, my woody problems, and this is quite an advanced um, discovered attack problem. So this was inflicted on me today by MUP2000, rated over 1500 in Blitz from Singapore, and what happened was that he played the, the rook up to d4 and dislodged my queen from there. Now. This is definitely on the advanced side, right? And I was shocked when I saw it. But have a pause if you want, and it's white to play and win material with a, you know, a, a, a sophisticated discovered attack. Okay, pause if you need. So the target for the discovered attack, if you want to know, is my knight on e5, or let's say the e5 square. Okay, so it, it's there's quite a few moving parts to this. So the solution starts with knight takes on e5, right? And after bishop recaptures, rook takes d8, rook takes d8, and the bishop hangs. Isn't that cute? Yeah? So white is seeing that he's actually got two pieces lined up against this square, but one of them is blocked. However, after this and takes... There's no defenders of that square, yeah? Really cute. Anyway, let's uh, let's do a game. So let's see if I can get over 1550 in rapid and also um, and catch up with my blitz rating. So we'll see. I think I must be uploading something. So this is slightly slow, but this is okay. And slow is good. Slow is good. It's taking longer than usual to connect. Well, it very often does. So 1547 in Rapid, I'm um, 1551 or 1553 or something. So, opponent is 1685. That makes this an 11-pointer. Kids, let's go. Full-on Freddy Krueger repertoire. And we have an Italian. Excellent, excellent. So we're going Russo Gambit, F5, pawn F5. This is book move. It's probably, if it wasn't book move, it would be called an inaccuracy, almost certainly. But it is a book move. An ST1920 from International, wherever that is. And let's see how we go. So have a cup of coffee. It's only the second cup of coffee, I've, or a pot of coffee I've made in, in eight weeks. We'll see what happens. Am I going to? Oh, okay, he's played the best move. Okay, so now I think when when d4 is played, when there's a pawn next to the bishop, we take the pawn next to the bishop. That's a little memory tool that I made for myself. 
Okay. Now this is actually undefended. This is a a thing. I'm quite happy for him to take the pawn. I get to do this and hit the bishop and discover with my own. Um, there's something saying that sometimes queen f6 is the right move. Yeah, because I've got to watch out for this. Got to watch out for this. So, you know, for example, um, if I just, I don't know. I mean, queen doesn't have that square right now. But there's a little birdie talking in my ear saying maybe that's the right thing to do. I'm not really sure. I've had an accident. I haven't been all right. Um, he's got two attackers on there. Let's break this down. Two attackers on here. If I take queen comes out to the board and then I don't have to worry about, about queen here nonsense but um, if I don't take I've got maybe knight takes now I've got maybe b takes I don't know uh, I should know this should know this could develop see if if queen here he can take with the pawn but then I do have this um, knight here takes okay i'm gonna do queen out i'm gonna do queen out i don't know why just instinct something telling me and now this is not a great move because actually undefends the knight if knight takes i, I can take with d okay i can still sh long castle then this could be okay and material is kind of the equal it's all good If you have over a million YouTube followers, you don't need to make clickbait titles. Not speaking to anyone in particular in this case, just general. Okay, this is my instinct. Um, White can obviously castle at this point in time. Here, if taketh, taketh, or even here, taketh, taketh with, with queen is quite nice. Um, knight here hits the undefended bishop. I'm not really worried about that bishop. Um, it's not developing though. Bishop c5 is that gonna is that gonna come around and bite me? I don't know. Am I worried about this? No, that's a nice pawn fork. That's okay. Got a crack on. Okay, one that develops. This is to be expected. I mean, I, I, I have got like d6. Just d6 threatens to win a pawn here. And, and does apply, you know, decent pressure to f7, but I think opponent's going to want to castle pretty soon. Can't hit my queen. This is all right. This is pressuring Boof. Uh, he's got three attackers on this pawn, on d5. So I don't think there's, there's no d5. How about knight e7? If takes, I take with queen. I kind of like this one though. Kind of like this. Opening up the bishop. See, this can count as developing a bishop sometimes, you know. Yeah, my rooks aren't connected. But, uh, you know, it can, a bishop doesn't have to move like a knight does to play a, a material role in the game. Still a nice square for the knight here. Anyway, mm-hmm. Take, take, take. Rookie one check. Knight can block. I win my pawn back, but I lose my light squared bishop. Now, what's nice about this is I like the fact that we've got a pinned pawn on f2. 
really think like maybe take take I don't even have to rush winning the pawn back I think I need to do that I think I need to get the pawn back yes I give up the bishop pair still not scared of this still not scared of this Still like in this move at some point. Actually, that's that's a good defense against uh, rookie one. Mm. Okay, interesting fork here and here. So I think I need to drop back to there, do I not? Or here? I mean, either way, he gets to recapture the bishop. That's not, that's not a concern of ours. Cannot go here or here. Actually, yeah, because of knight takes there with a discovery by. Oh no, so this is playable, because knight here, queen takes, but what about this, knight here, queen takes, yeah. So queen actually can go to f7, because from there she covers both of the checking squares from the knight, even though she's in harm's way. Um, cannot go here. But if here takes, I can't recapture with the queen, because that does give up this, so... What I want to do on my next turn is going to be to Long Castle, I think. Um, so Queen here gets in the way of that. So I think this is playable. If takes, I just Long Castle and defend the pawn with a king. If here or here, you lose your knight, babes. Yeah, no, nothing more. Well, there are lots of frustrating things. Hanging your queen is more frustrating. But I do not appreciate having a video called, you know, Chess Cheating Scandal Update when there's a minor bit of pedestrian news followed by a dull like, game analysis from GMs. But that's me. That's my personal view. Opponent's having a thinkeroo now. We're figuring out the same issue here. So after I castle, then I can recapture the pawn. Then I, I'm the only one actually with a. Um, yeah, there we go. Also, knight here comes with check. Ah, oh, tits. Bollocks to it. Didn't think it through. Didn't think it through. Resigning. Forget it. My opponent's too strong. Doing another one. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. That was just silly. That was just silly. <sighs> Foolish. Right, my request has gone through. Your request has been re received. In fact, let's... Okay, here we go. Oh, 1628, are you having a laugh? Is he having a laugh? Come on. I think that chess.com tracks your trajectory of your performance. And I've noticed that when I... Um, an opponent, Duja Shu, is not up for this. Can I wait 30 seconds for him to abort? Yeah, when you are like on a roll, you're playing well, it tends to find stronger opponents for you. And when you're like on a dip and a dive, it tends to put you against slightly weaker ones, I find. So I think what it's doing is it's looking at my recent performance um, and saying, Huntley's on a roll. Let's, uh, let's throw some giants his way and send him giant hunting. Okay, opponent doesn't want to risk 10 points on a game. Fair enough. Cowards! Cowards off with their heads. My name is Otto Abort. Um, here we go. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm kind of um, I'm curious about biohacking, biohacking the brain. 
great thing about playing chess on a daily basis is that, is that you get a really good kind of barometer of how well you're thinking. And this is now what, about day eight or nine of my big fat challenge of being practically zero carb. Yeah, drop of milk here and there. Um, but uh, upping the fats. Also, oh, bloody hell, he's, he's arrived. Look at this. Okay, let's see how you like my, what's it called? Charlik. How to love Charlik Gambit? DJ Shu. Duji Ao Dujo. Okay, accepted. Sweet. Okay, this. So this guy now thinks I'm, I'm playing like a three minute blitz, isn't it? I managed to earn myself 30 seconds in four moves. He. Okay, so, so right now we're still in theory. I always meet this, this knight move with this knight move. Standard moves now are going to be bishop g4. Bishop can also come to here in some lines. There's another pet eight. I'm not, I'm not annoyed. I'm, I'm not in a bad mood today. I'm in a jolly good mood today. Okay, blocks with bishop, queen here. This knight hasn't come out, so this knight can stay at home. Now we want a long castle. Yeah, we can, okay. This is, okay, now knight can come in here and try and dislodge this knight to reopen the d-file. Okay. If knight takes, we've got queen takes. This pawn hangs. This is true. Let's play rook here. This is also useful in case of short castles. Okay, and takes. Oh! Oh, really, O'Reilly? You do, do you? You fancy yourself for that, do you? Now, if it takes, 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 he's got long castles. Um, the queen is undefended, so something must be done. F5 is an idea. Then takes and takes, and this bishop's undefended and, and may be vulnerable to discovered attacks. Um, there is a check, but then this comes with tempo. Queen here looks a bit awkward. Could even just drop back. Oh, this is even a thought. There, bishop takes duh, duh. He's actually got a really good pawn structure then. So I don't think we want to do that even. How about this? Takes, takes. I don't know. Is f five stupid looking? No. It gives me an IQP kind of thing or IKP. IKP is Ikapi is a, a kind of antelope from Africa, I believe. Ah, oh, I might have just made that up. Taketh, taketh. I'm attacking the knight. If knight moves, I hit the bishop. You lose castling rights. I don't. Ha ha! It's easy to get giddy and overexcited when you're like, on a roll. Important not to do that. You've got to be just as much of a, an annoying git as you normally are. This is also a move. That move after this move would be great, because I have a rook here, yeah? That, that would win a queen, would it not? Bang and bang. It's a twist on the, the classic Charlic idea. This really is a kind of a one idea opening, but... Hey ho. <sighs> Very interesting, my friend. How about this though? How about this? Offer me anything I want. I want my father back, you son of a bitch. Okay, here. 
it's not right there's a lot of patterns that you need to remember just in general of getting out of certain types of attacks right like getting out of a fork getting out of a pin getting out of a skewer and a lot of them are the same so for example here it's it looks like it's a fork it looks like it's winning material because the queen can't defend the pawn right so white it appears can't get up get out of both problems at once a being attacked by a minor piece a big piece attacked by a little piece and b little piece being attacked by a big piece but it's undefended and comes to check now however if i was to do this all he has to do is trade his way out yeah so i go knight here queen takes there pawn takes queen then it's not my turn to move right my knight is here and he might do this you know so i think i think just castles castles here and and now you know I'm a, I, I have threats you know <sighs> so do we like the coffee hit which is definitely kicking in after eight weeks off and mm, i don't know I don't know. So what it's done is it's kind of knocked me off my steadiness. The thing about the uh, the the very low carb uh, way of eating is that you get a a real solid kind of baseline of um, of energy now note this bishop is undefended <laughs> well it was it was okay now if i take you take your attacking my rook i'm attacking your rook i take your blah 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 if i take knight he takes bishop um I could just drop back here and keep the bishop pair, you know. That might be the grown-up thing to do. I, I kind of want to keep the bishop pair. I don't want to give up the bishop pair. If I take and he takes and check, I have to move, he takes. That doesn't work. No, I'm keeping the bishop pair. Thank you very much for the offer of an exchange of pieces. But I decline politely. Right, this is not defended. It's isolated pawn, but it's okay. Um, I'm st I am down a pawn. Now it attacks my... Rook. <sighs> ah, pawn hangs. But so does this one. See, I noticed this now, right? Interesting position. I think this is kind of no brain on move. Bishop now has to come in there to attack the back of the pawn chain. The, the only difference on the board now is 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 that pawn here. Okay. Uh, I again, I don't think we want to trade off. I, I, I'm quite happy coming here, defend this pawn, which was previously undefended. King now defends all, all the bodyguard pawns. You know, this rook is here stuck defending that. This rook is here stuck defending that. Opponent is going to start pushing up on the queen side. King side. We're both castle queen side. My bishops are kind of aimed at the wrong side of the board a little bit. And this is this is, you know, has to be said, one of the downsides of um of gambits. Okay, so no, 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 no. Doesn't leave me too many options, does it? Jatak. I kind of like... Oh, shut up. What about this move, though? This move is forced king here, huh? This move is forced king here. Opens up... Stop talking in that stupid bloody meerkat accent. Concentrate on the chess. Now, what about this? Ah. Pins both rooks. Yeah, tempting, but no. I take bishop, you take rook. I can't recapture. Not going to happen today. Not on my watch, baby. Here, 
comes here, it comes here, it still doesn't work. Okay, so, I actually, shucks, shut the front door. Has he actually trapped this rook, though? He has, hasn't he? Where does this rook go? I go here, I have to trade a rook for a bishop. Which ain't too bad, you know, because it means in the end game I still have a bishop pair. But it's a one rook and the bishop pair against a pair of rooks and one bishop. It's not ideal, but what can I do? Huh? What can I do? I have to move this rook. He can't go there or there or there or there. Or there or there. If I go here, I'm going to fall to this. Then I really have to take the light squared bishop. I don't see any way around this, do you? This is mightily annoying. This is the da da da. And now I wish my king was on c8. Because then I could win bishop for. Sorry, two bishops for a rook, which would be absolutely fine. So, I mean, this is, for example, is a pin. I've got, you know, two undefended pieces. What can you do, right? Now, if I could move one of them with check, then that would force my opponent to waste the move, and then I could save the other one, right? And so that's what can happen in the situation of a skewer or a pin or a fork. Yeah, there's nothing I can do here, I don't think. Nothing to be done. But the difference now is I have a light squared bishop. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, I'm going to come back here and hit the bishop. So, my light squared bishop now, if I, if I position pawns on dark squares, my light squared bishop can have the freedom of the city. Whereas, how about this? Does this work? I'm hitting the rook, threatening to dislodge the defender, the only defender of f2. If he pushes, takes, takes... No, he can't push, he loses his rook. So, yeah. What I want to do is... Oh, he... He's clever. And that's making life difficult for my LSB, you see, that's the problem. Now, king can't go here or here. I think I have to come back to this square. I don't see any real alternative. And I don't want to make it a tall pawn, really, do I? Can't really push pawns. What am I going to do? This is frustrating. But he's still stuck doing this, though. And this pawn's actually doing a reasonable job there. Uh, it's an idea. I mean, a four could come. H four, sorry. So that you know, you can see the difference between the fifteen hundred play and the sixteen hundred play in, the, in these two games. Bishop down here. Okay, I can hit him again. And I'm just going to do that. Because it's no, no, no. Right? What about this now? What about this? I, do, I go up. He probably pushes. See, this. Mm. Got to be, really. I mean, if I can compress and trap this bishop then I'm in a, a reasonable position. So, okay, we have to consider takes, but... No. G4 it gives me two pawns looking at this. So now if he, if he pushes, I take. If he pushes, I take again. So he's going to lose a pawn. Okay, his bishop's desperate to get out. 
Okay, so where can that bishop go and how can we spoil its day? Okay, it can actually go here. This is this is problem. Um, and it can go here. Because I could drop my bishop back here, for example, but I think that kind of works. But then he's going to come here. Um, so let's say this bishop moves. I mean, he could be just sitting there to spoil my day and uh, mess up my fun. I don't know. Is this even a thought? Takes, not like a knight takes, pawn takes. King pushes up kind of here. My light squared bishop's having a torrid time of things. Really isn't doing too well. I've got all my pawns on light squares instead of dark squares, and it's exactly the opposite of what I said I wanted to do. I'll draw my bishop back here just to annoy this pawn. That, that, that ties this rook again to the defense of that. I can't really apply any more pressure to that pawn, which vexes me. Okay, and now he's just lodged his bishop there, right? That bishop's going nowhere. Unless I dislodge it. Net, net. Yeah, you know what? I have to do something. I have to shake things up a bit because as things stand, my light squared bishop is... Look at all the pawns on light squares, right? I need to improve this bishop. It's my insurance, you know? It's my only... The only imbalance in my favor. At least now, one of my pawns is going to have a hope. Get the pawn forward. Might get the bishop behind it. No. See, now his rook is relieved from this duty. Okay. Certainly to take the pawn. I'm obliged to take now. If I come forward, he can't... His king can't go there or there. So I think his rook's going to have to come over. In it. Yeah. It's still far from clear, you know, how white wins this. Because we've both got a long range piece and actual, you know, the fact that's now clogged up, which really doesn't benefit the rook. And his rook's stuck defending this. So do I push deep? b5 now preventing the king from coming forward gets in my own bishop's way though um, if bishop b5 he has this can I just think maybe I'll just need, my bishop might even end up here you know it just kind of clog up the entire board bishop here just prevent any kind of ideas of any kind if I push, or push, pushki, pushki. He's still got this. He, he's he's got to be thinking about racing away with the f4 pawn. So guts just tell me to to stop that pawn. Right, it's a passed pawn. <sighs> right, a5 is a thought. A5, he can't push there. A5, he double pushes, I block. He single pushes, I wait. Because then the next pawn that moves forward is going to get met by the opposite pawn. Okay. Push. I'm playing for a draw. Okay. He's got this as a passer. Okay, I might just have to be going backwards and forwards with my bishop now. Backwards and forwards. Rook is stuck defending this now. 
King cannot defend this pawn. I mean, he, he, he can't come to any of any of these squares. So how does it... The, it's got to get to this square to defend the pawn, right? And it can't get there. It has no legal route to get there. Oh. Huh. Wow, the power of the king. Here, pawn runs away, and I'm going to have to sacrifice my bishop to stop it. <sighs> now, king wants to get through and get this guy, doesn't he? Which he couldn't while my bishop was on that square. So if I just let him in, the enemy at the gates blow. Okay, it's got to be this, isn't it? Like that back to here. But then I'm threatening this. You can't take right now. I've got it. Okay, now my own bishop is pinned, so I think I have to move my king. Maybe this, but he now can take the pawn. He can take the pawn. I've actually won a pawn in all of this nonsense. Uh huh. Okay. Can't push. Do I have to do this? No, that drops my own bishop. Ugh. At least the king's defending these squares, so the rook. There's only one open file on the board, and the. Rook can't get to it. Okay. My problem now is I think I'm going to have to be forced to trade my bishop off to stop the h-pawn. Yeah. No, it's a losing position. It's a losing position. I'm sure it's... Yeah, there you go, plus nine. But you know, this is the thing. This is good. Let's have a look at the game review. This is what happens when you play gambits and your opponents come up with it with the best response, which, um, you know, well, or good response. I mean, I, I, got, I got my gambit. Oh, right. One opportunity here. What was it? King blunders. Oh! Okay, so show you what's going to happen here okay i'm going to click share i'm going to grab the fen for this might take a second because previous video is still uploading okay i'm going to my woody this is discovered attacks medium and is it medium or is it even easy i'll call it medium <sighs> woody discoveries medium okay open that up we have 20, this is going to be medium 21. Da -da, from Black's perspective, yes. And this is a blunder. And the correct move is, boom. Yeah. There. Simple, okay. So now what's going to happen is, in future, I'm going to, I'm going to see this. Okay, I'm going to play again, right, duh. What's happened, oh yes, right, and I drill. And I drill, but not just once. I'm going to, this is now 21 on here. I'm going for 100 at each level of each tactic. So that's the thing. Anyway, just, you know, good play my by my opponent. I'm frustrated. I'm annoyed that I missed this. This was a game winning opportunity and I blew it. But hey, 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 never mind. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you soon.